local Santa Barbara band, Moto Grader, has created a new innovative musical style, combining traditional metal with rhythmic jungle beats and their own patented instrumental sound, the Moto Grader. Yeah, it's like a linear slide guitar percussion bass. Went through you know several trial and errors with it. I mean, we had to get it going. You know. Motograders' musical style evolved through these early experimental motograders and through the eventual addition of other instruments to the group. It started out with just the motograder. Well, it started out with bass and drums, bass guitar and homemade drums. Actually, first bass and, and drums, traditional drums. And then we built the motograder. Then it was bass and motograder with drum machine shit. Yeah. And then we built the smart drums and it was motograder and smart drums. The original member and creator of the Moto Grader, Bruce, joined up with his hometown friend Joey. They moved to Santa Barbara and together began to develop Moto Grader's style. Bruce and Joey eventually brought in singer Zach Ward to do the lead vocals for Moto Grader. I started off doing like hip hop freestyle stuff. I started listening to these guys, playing with these guys, just turned out into metal, you know? Hardcore lyrics. Yeah, I met these guys with skateboard, freestyling. Freestyling, rapping. They met the next band member, Chris Binns, at a Halloween party in Santa Barbara. Halloween 1998, Chris Binns saw us sitting there playing, making noise. Zach had been with us for a month, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I went to this party and <laughs> these guys were just shut up. It's just evil ass looking industrial shit, and I'd heard about them for about a year, seeing stickers fucking all over San Barbara. First four members of the band finally gets to play their first show. Ventura Theater, 12 16 98. Ventura Theater, the big skateboard bash. Oh, Shindig. That was, Shindig. That was the first show with the four of us. Yeah, that was before uh, Eric was in the picture, but good gig. We played, there was a bunch of surf bands and a bunch of skaters there. Basically, the kids sat there and looked at us just like. What the fuck? The whole time. They didn't know what to do. Just, yeah. And that's before we were face paint. We just make make a noise. The face paint kind of evolved slowly over time. It started with Joey, but uh, you just put on a couple. Yeah, lines Joey of was taking shoe polish. polish and putting tribal stripes on himself, and then it, it was baby powder and, and stripes, and then uh, whatever you could think just of. Just escalated, and so all of a sudden we had crates of paint. We had no other choice but to wear it. Sometime after their first show. The band adds their final member, Eric Gonzalez, who mixes sound samples to complete the motivator sound. We realized that we, you know, we needed a little bit more, we needed samples, and we needed, we needed to bring more elements in. We needed in. to bring more elements in.
I am now learning to build Bob Snake. Oh, I am now learning to build Bob Snake. This is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair show with Ivan Moody, a five finger death punch backstage at the Rockstar Energy Mayhem Festival in San Diego, California. Can't beat it, man. Are you kicking ass out here today or what? Taking names, absolutely, man, now, for sure. Tell me the story of five finger death punch. Well, um, I was originally in motor graders, a lot of people know, and um, after that it kind of left a sour taste in my mouth of the music industry, so I took a couple years off, I uh, was sitting around on, on MySpace, go figure, one night, and uh, Zoltan emailed me, told me he had some new material, he wanted me to check it out. I really didn't have any plans on singing again, to be honest with you. Um, but once I heard it and I met the guys, I, mean, I, was, I just fell in love with them immediately. It was cut and dry, I was in the studio by Monday, uh, we sat around, configured a couple names, put the songs together, and, and so is life. Imagine 
you know, being heavily influenced by a band, uh, growing up at a bus stop, listening to the band, blasting in your ears, waiting for the bus, and not caring how long the bus takes to get there because you're just jamming out to this amazingly well put together CD, and it hits you in a way that it, only the fans can agree with me. That you know what we're talking about, the way that CD impacted you. Yeah. So, um, without getting all sappy on it, when I was brought the opportunity to bring back something I cared so deeply about, like I said before, it it's, was the easiest decision I ever made. It's easier than breathing. What's up? It's Pete the Die Hard back with Die Hard's Music. And right now I got one of the uh, original founding members of Motigrator. We have Nuke. How's it going, brother? What's up, man? So I want to ask you a couple of questions, man, and they're completely random off the top of my fucking head. All right. So let's just roll with it. Um, so where has Motigrator been, bro? Can we update some of the people that have kind of been wondering where you guys been? You haven't been gone long, but, you know, everybody's excited that you guys are back on the road again. Yeah, um... I guess we've, we've done a couple tours across America, and then we took a few months off and kind of reconvened, relocated to Huntington Beach, and, you know, kind of got our shit together, and uh, now we're out here on the road, beautiful Hollister, California. So you call it the new breed. Define to me what the new breed is and what the hell you guys, you guys are bringing something. And I know that for a fact, so I'm just kind of curious what your thoughts are on, on well, that. Well, I mean, the new breed is, you know, basically just kind of uh, this generation, uh, this lineup, Motigrader, you know, um, and, uh, you know, we're taking it seriously, and um, you know, we're really excited to be out here, man. We're, uh, we're in a good space right now. Right on, man. Now I got one of your new guys over here to the right of me. <laughs> so get an on? introduction of you, bro. My name is Mylan, play the bass, and motivator. Cool. Yeah. What is, uh, if you could say one word, if you had to describe motivator in one word, what would that word be? First thing on the top of your head, bro. Heavy. Heavy. Yeah. Heavy. Heavy as shit.
Ben's a great vocalist, you know, take nothing away from him. You know, I got to meet him um, in L.A. when um, he came out to see us and head charge. And um, it was really cool. You know, he was very positive about, you know, the new direction of the band. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, of course, I, you know, I, I respect him a lot. And, you know, uh, I love that, that he is supportive of what we're doing. You know, that's fantastic. But I'm not necessarily trying to fill his shoes. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Aru Luster from Il Nino and Illustrious Productions. Very pleased to let you guys know that I will be producing and engineering the new Motograder record. Yes, Motograder record. They haven't had a new record in about 10 years, and as a producer, I plan to help them make the best record of their careers, something that they'll be proud of for the rest of their lives, and something that'll bring them to the next level. It's gonna be 100% motograder, but definitely the production is gonna be a lot more modern. I'm especially good with uh, melodies, vocals, working with singers, so I'll be adding a little bit of that flavor as well as my producing. The vision is 100% motograder. I'm gonna help them see their vision and put out the best record of their career. Very excited. <laughs> Well, honestly, I mean, I'm not, I mean, people say I'm filling his shoes or whatever, but I'm not like, I'm not trying to fill his shoes per se. Like I'm not trying to emulate him or anything, you know, um, it's a new lineup. It's a, it's a new day, you know, and uh, I don't know. I'm just being me, you know, I'm just singing the way I sing and writing the way I write. And these guys seem to dig it. So share with us, Nuke, who is in Motorgrader right now um, besides you guys? What other members do you have? Um, besides Shark and James, we have Skunk on the moto. Um, we have Jesse Stamper on rhythm guitar. Of course, we have Mylan, the incomparable Mylan Dean guy on bass. Um, and then uh, we, last but not least, we have Joey Vice on the Smur drums and samples. So that's seven, right? This is the force to be reckoned with. So you've got the new album coming out, Desolation. I saw the artwork on the album. It is absolutely amazing. Um, it's been many years uh, since you guys have released something. So can you give us any type of an insight or preview on what to expect from this album? Um, I'll let Noah. Um, what you should expect is absolute devastation. I mean, the album's called Desolation for a reason. Um, so should we expect desolation then? <laughs> <laughs> no, devastation. No, you should expect devastation from desolation. Yes, because devastation precedes desolation. <laughs> also expect desolation Yes. Anyway. Um, the new album is... I mean, of course... Of course, I'm biased, but um, this album really is badass. We put our heart and souls into this. I mean, we like bled into this album. We worked really hard on it, and uh, it's fucking killer. And it sounds like old school moto, except with a modern twist. It's like very modern and heavy and melodic and beautiful and ugly. And it's just, it's going to rip you apart emotionally. Um, and that's what we're aiming for. 
And um, you can expect it in just a few months. The end of 2016, it'll be here, desolation, and it's going to rip your face off. <laughs> Boom. All right, is there anything else you'd like to say to your fans, the, the hardcore ones that have been there since day one, the new ones that are going to watch this and fall in love? Is there anything that you would like to say? Speak from the heart. I'll add one thing. I got to be honest. Before I joined this band, I was a huge fan. And I wouldn't be here right now if I didn't feel very strongly about this new lineup and this new album and this new music and these new tours. I think the world is um, definitely ready for Moto to make a huge comeback, and that's exactly what we're doing right now. So brace yourselves, because Moto's coming for you. Yeah.